from face on and a front view. 那所以一個叫side view, side view 就是側面的角度跟正面的角度。那另外一個其實還有一個背面的角度,就後面,後面轉,往著後面拍攝外。And okay. so the first thing we look at is the back leg attractor and we look to see if he achieves co-contraction. 那第一個就看他的後腳,看他後腳沒有完整的肌肉進入發力的狀態。and so it looks like he has an iron pyramid on the ground there. And as he moves out, he gets his butt behind his heel. He's behind the heel. He's not forward of the toe. And you can see here that as he moves out, his lead hip is higher than his trail hip. So, so he would get a green on that one. And now we look to see if he releases his iron pyramid before his foot is on the ground. And you can see here on the right with Henry. Can you guys see that? Okay. See how right here he has two heels off the ground? He releases it slightly early, right? So, that makes his back leg uh, attractor a little unstable and it uh, also robs him of some of his adjustability. Next, we see if he has a forward move. So, we start from the initial load right here when he gathers his energy and we simply draw a line and we want to make sure that he moves forward to that line somewhere. And he does. Okay. So, he gets, so he gets a green on that one, okay? And now we're going to go to the lead leg attractor. Lead leg attractor, and we want to see it retract and land from above. And I don't see Henry here retracting. I see him landing, kind of towing in. So... So I'd probably give that a yellow score. It's not. Okay, and then we see does he achieve lead leg co contraction? And ultimately, right there, I want to see if this leaks forward at all. Okay? And his knee doesn't leak forward, so he's green there, okay? His knee. I want to see if his knee leaks forward of that line. And we get his waiver to and then, and then does he clear his front hip? He clears his front hip with an ankle roll strategy. You can see that. And now we're going to look at his cage structure. So the first thing we look at is when he first builds the cage, what does it look like? And you can see here he has a pretty decent cage built. The front arm's not, not barred, the back arm's not pinched in. And then as he goes to swing, we want the rear elbow to go under the hands. But you can, I'm sorry, go ahead. But you can see here that Henry pinches his back elbow in as he goes to try to take his knob to the ball. And as a result, his cage is beginning to leak forward, so he's losing a little bit of power and adjustability. And then we look to see if he takes his rear elbow up the midline of his body, and his elbow goes up, so we're okay there. And then what we do is I use this circle tool, and I track the barrel run. And there are other apps on the phone that'll do this. I like this one because my students can then email me their videos and I can just and, and this is called Objectus. Objectus, right? Objectus video? Objectus? Okay. 
OK， 那就是其实 iPhone 上有其他的东西是可以做，但是这个东西他比较喜欢，为什么？因为他跟他的学生都这个叫 App Jetter。Yeah, there are other apps that you can use on your phone, but I like for my students to email it to me because when I hit this record button right here, it will record my voice talking over their video, and I can send it back to them. 那这个东西为什么？因为学生寄东西给他的时候，他可以直接录音。那他可以一边做一边分析，一边录音给他，这样他发给学生的时候，其实就是一个完整的东西。And so you can see with Henry, a little steep here. I'm sorry. And then comes out of it. Okay, I would rather see him because, and it's because he leaks his cage. I'd rather see it more like that. Okay. 那基本上就是 cage 可能要更圆弧一点。不过基本上他一开始下去是比较陡峭的这样。So I'm going to give him a yellow on cycloid barrel run. 所以在他的甜蜜点的回击这一块呢，他觉得他应该是黄灯。And then we want to look at, we want to go hips then shoulders and creating stretch, proper separation. 那接着就会看他的是不是臀有先转，然后肩膀再转。Here, that what I like to look at, I like to look at his like if he was wearing a belt, where would his belt buckle be? Oops. 那通常这时候我们就看选手的皮带，皮带比较好去看他整个腰部的转动。And here I have his belt buckle coming right here. 这时候就看一下，哎，他的腰带大概在这腰带的环节。I also have his shoulders leaking just a little bit here, okay? 那这时候看到他的肩膀。And so I'd like for him to achieve a little more stretch there, so I'm gonna give that a yellow grade. 那他希望他是就是不要。Yellow grade because his chest and shoulders are leaking a little bit with his hips. They're coming together. OK。就是他的胸口这时候有点太早转，所以这时候你可以看到他的胸部。但原则上来讲，应该是臀部先转，然后身体扭着。所以他觉得他胸胸口有点太早转，所以这一块是黄的。And then I want to look at the sequencing. He should go foot, hips. 然后就是看整个转体的序列。Foot, hips. Hips, shoulders, hands, and what I see with Henry here is he goes foot, and hips and shoulders come together. So, 这个地方他看到的腿下去很先转没问题，但是他的臀部跟他的肩膀跟手是同时一起启动转体的。So I give him yellow for that. 那对他来讲，这是应该一个阶段一个阶段，所以是一个黄灯。And then, then we look at the deceleration attractor. 然后接着看他整个挥棒完成之后，他的释放一样的过程。When his foot hits the ground and he makes contact here. At contact, 打完打到球之后，接着进入降降速的过程。His head is centered relatively between his feet and the, so I think we're okay there. 那头虽然有一点点后面，但基本上还在身体的正中线，所以是还 OK 的。If I was really being critical, I would say that he might be leaning back a little too far, but um, we're gonna leave that one alone. Okay, so he's. 嗯，如果真的要很挑的话，大概还可以说在往后面一点，那就只剩下两分。And then we want him to replace his shoulders. I want the two shoulders to trade places. 那接着就是 replace， 就看到他的后面的肩膀又跑到前面的肩膀，就是相对的位置。That he continues to rotate around and his back is facing the first baseline. 那可以看得到是他肩膀应该是往前转点，因为他整个后面肩膀跑到前面的，然后他背是朝向一垒侧。So he's going to get a green on that one. 所以 shoulder replace 这个地方是绿灯。And I'm happy with his continued rotation to take stress away from at-risk joints. 那另外就是，呃，他打完之后，整个转体是延续的，所以让他受伤风险就降低，交通这边很不错。And then I look for a timing mechanism. He indeed shows that he has a nice controlled leg kick, so that's going to be a green. 那接着就看他的，刚刚我们讲到他整个 timing 抓 timing 的那个机制。第一个抬脚不错。The next timing adjustment is that he has optimal length in his abdominals, and I think that he doesn't achieve enough stretch here because he leaks his hips and shoulders together. 那接着就是因为他之前有一个脚踩下去之后整。的身体、臀部跟身体、肩膀会一起转的问题，所以他脚踩完之后，这个身核心的转体就比较没有，所以这个地方是一个。And so I'm going to give him a red on that score. 那接着这这边的话是一个红灯。And then the last one is the scap load, and you can see here that. 看一下他肩胛骨的位置有没有。See right here as his cage begins to leak forward, he loses his scap load. 那很明显，因为他这时候整个手因为已经往前了，所以他的那个 cage 那个正方形已经没有办法维持，所以他肩胛骨这时候是没有夹。So that's yet another one of the cogs of adjustability that he's allowing that he's、um, eliminating from his arsenal.、Okay? 所以就这个东西是另外一个他可以去做调整的地方。And so then what we would do is go through. I'm ready again. Okay. Yeah. Wait. Two minutes. Okay. Good. Okay. Then we would go and go to his、uh, drill sheet here. And every attractor that he scored a yellow or a red on, I would check every box there. 那所以简单的说，就是如果他刚做那些检测有黄灯或者红灯的，你就要把它勾起来标注一下。So, so let me find a check mark. Hold on. So, I'll just put it. Use a key. 
So I would put, whoops, I don't need that. Great. So I would go here and just put a check mark or a notation right there. All of these drills, because it's back like a tractor, he was on clouds. I would put a check mark on all of those drills. Okay. And remember, on his lead leg tractor, he didn't land from above. He kind of slid in a little bit, so he's going to have to do all of these drills here. And for his arms attractor, um, he let his cage leak forward a little bit, and so he had yellows and reds on that score, so he would do all of these as well. And then on the number four tractor, the torque, I mean the, tr the, uh, the trunk attractor, he had his torso and hips going at the same time, so he would do all of these rails on this side. And he scored a green on all of his deceleration attractors, so he would not have to do those rails. And so when we do our drill work, we start with our athletes on the T, but as soon as possible, we start adding the perceptual component, okay? Because in addition to adjusting their, their physical swing, they have to learn the adjustability of perception, of, of adapting to different pitches. And so to do that, we have our variable weighted bat program. We change the distances. Grant and, um, and Adam will be talking about that today. We change the distances of the pitches. We change the speeds. We change things constantly so they learn adaptability or adjustability. Okay, and that, that, that would then go with them in their chart, and every time they come to practice with us, they open up their chart. We actually have it electronically on an iPad now and they would do their drills. And that allows us to achieve one of the hallmarks of the ranch process is individualization of training across the entire spectrum. So we can have a nine-year-old and a major leaguer working side by side, and it's okay because they're not doing the same stuff. And the final note is this. Make sure that when they're executing their drill work, that they're not, first of all, doing all the drills in the same order all the time. They need to mix it up. 那就是還有一個大重點,就是既然他可能有四四五項訓練要做,記得不要每次都是從第一項做到第五項,你可以就是混混那個順序感,三五一三五二四之類的這樣。And even though it presents a logistical problem of moving from place to place, we don't want our guys to do all of their T work and then all of their front toss and then all of their live pitching. 那就算知道說有些時候我們要去設置訓練站啊 就是調整可能會有困難,但我們不需要每個人來,每次來的順序都是打T,然後打套,跑打,然後再打那個free這樣。Because if they do that, their body begins to look at the T work and the front toss and the line pitching as, as bananas, apples and oranges. 那所以因為為什麼這樣對身體來講,這三個東西它就不是一個綜合訓練,因為它已經習慣,那就變個別訓練,個別訓練,個別訓練。And they develop different swings and different perceptive reactions to each one of those, so we have to mix it all up. 那既然它是個別訓練對身體來講,它可能打踢就有打踢的揮棒機制出現,打跑打就有打跑打揮棒機制出現,那打飛就有打飛的揮棒機制出現,但我們不希望這樣,我們希望它是一個完整的打擊
You have to think of adding variability, like you would add weight to a bar in a training program. 简单的概念，简单的概念，增加变音，在挥棒的过程，就有点像你在重训的时候，你一定是先把重训前面二三十磅的做好，再加三十磅、四十磅的操场去。Okay, thank you. You guys are rotating. Okay, 谢谢。